Next, we're going to draw in our cartoonish zebra. Alrighty, and this is going to be nice because we're going to start off with our black and white, uh, but actually zebras are going to not be too far off this color. So we're going to have like a side profile of our zebra here. See the nice tufts of the ears already. And the hard part about the zebra is making sure you can get like the snout right. It's quite actually difficult here. But we're going to get it done. We're going to have a smile on our zebra's face. He's had a nice day of grazing out on the savanna, and he is pretty full. So we're going to bring the neck, they're going to bring the neck back, make sure that it tapers nice so we don't make it too thick. And you're going to bring, there's going to be a little bit of curve to the back here. See? And then down to the loop. Hey, there's the rump, the zebra rump. We're going to have our zebra here hanging out. Evidently, our lion over on the other side of the mural, he's had a nice full meal already. So he doesn't have to worry. He's not too interested in the zebra. They're chilling out, hanging out, having a good time. Actually, luckily for the zebra, lions do not tend to eat all that often. And whenever... They have recently eaten. They aren't too interested in other animals for a good while after that. Okay, I'm bringing down the hind legs here. I'm trying to keep these as relatively even as I can. If I make any little errors, I can always fix that in the later painting. Now I want to have a little bit of movement here. So on the back legs here, I'm going to have his leg going a little forward. And I'm going to have the front leg up. Now, the only other big thing to do with our zebra is, of course, to put in the stripes. And I do that by having simple, nice squiggles. I'm not going to do anything more complicated than that. This is a cartoon, after all. And we're going to continue these squiggles all the way up and down the back. Beyond that, the last thing we have to do is their tail. Now, zebras do not have a horse's tail. There's a little bit of skin, and then you get a little bit of fluff. So don't draw this like a horse's tail, because that would be inaccurate. Do a couple of additional details, like putting in the snout, and we'll be ready to start painting our zebra.